Hello and welcome to Omron's Quick Tip Videos. In this video we're going to show you how to use the NJ SQL to do a correlated subquery. Now what that means is the user has a piece of information like a serial number and he wants to get the quantity and the timestamp but the quantity and timestamp are in a table called table 4 and serial number is only in a table called serial. So he can't do a direct query. Normally he would use two queries. You would table, you would query this table to get the barcode and once you got it you would query with the barcode information to get the quantity and the timestamp. But there's a way to do that in a single query. This is the SQL statement. So select barcode quantity and timestamp. That part makes sense. From table 4, yes. Where the barcode, and then the statement changes a little. We write in select barcode from serial, where serial equals 1. In this case, I wanted the barcode to where the serial number equals 1. That gets handed back to the first part and gives us the information we wanted. So, now to implement that on the NJ SQL, there's a couple of things we need to know. When we do our uh, connect and our mapping, we map to table 4, the second table. And then we run our select statement, but where the magic happens is in the where statement we are able to hide most of that query in the WHERE statement. So this is my variable which is handing me my WHERE statement and here, here's the second part of the statement. The barcode in, select barcode from serial, where serial equals in, in this case 1 what I'm doing here is, if you use concat, you can take your text string, then you can take your, uh, in this case, string variable, put a comma between them, it'll concatenate them together. But don't forget at the end, I need another comma and I need my end bracket. So what's happened is, the, the second part of the select statement is hidden in my where statement. And that is the trick to making it work on the NJ SQL. Hope that helps and catch you later.